Praise the Lord and good morning to you. Shalom, dearly beloved. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are so much happy and we are glad to be in it. Happy is the man who trusts in the Lord with all his strength and his all his might. For the Lord, he is our Redeemer, the unchangeable man, God, the one who rules over all kingdoms and dominion. His works are beautiful and there is no one's work which is greater and higher than the work of our God. Neither is there any kingdom that can be compared to the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is your shield and your buckler. He is your master and so we need to rejoice and be glad in it. For he has given us once again another gift of life. May his name be praised. Nia <laughs> Shall we go through the word of God? In the book of Isaiah chapter 52, he said, Awake, awake, put on your strength, O Zion. Put on your beautiful garment, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For the uncircumcised and unclean shall no longer come to you. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise, sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the bounds of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Praise the name of the Lord. I always say that anywhere you read the Bible and there's a name, if it fit, keeps, put your name there. Here, the Bible is telling us, it said, awake from your slumber. In other words, shake yourself from anything that has put you down. Any words of discouragement, any disappointment that have turned your sorrow so sore and so disappointed, shake yourself from it. Why? Because you have somebody who is with you. So here God is saying that, awake from your slumber. Awake. Why are you crying? Why are you sitting down as if you don't have any help? Why are you sitting down as if you don't have any hope? Why are you sitting down and crying? For how long will you continue to cry? For how long will you continue to lay down and uh, mourning and mourning and crying? Shake yourself up. Awake. And he said, put on your strength. Oh, Zion. So I'm calling your name. Wake up. Put on a new strength. Why? Because the a lion's cup is not compared to a dog or a puppy. You are a lion's cap. In other words, you are a lion's baby. And so you can't compare yourself to a dog baby. You are made with power and strength. And so don't sit down for circumstances in life to put you down. So he says, Zion, awake. And he said, put on your beautiful garment. Hey, you have cried for far too long. You have allowed situation to crumple you down. And everybody who look at your face begin to say, why? Shake yourself up. Go and wash your feet. Put on your new garment as if nothing has happened because God is about to turn things around. There shall be a performance. There is a rainbow on the other side. The sun will shine again. I want you to know that yes, yesterday or the other day past, your life has been very dark and, 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 and gloomy. You don't know what to do, but there is an excitement in the air. Shake yourself and sing unto the Lord. Put on your garment and remember one thing for sure, that he said, the unclean and the uncircumcised shall no longer come to you. Oh, he said, shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down. Oh, Jerusalem. And I'll pay a baby to us a year. A jum me no some 52. Or say, sorry, Nefa wahu denye she, oh Zion, 
na fa won taria e fe she o Jerusalem kron kron man no na o se na ketu etwafo ene nia enye e honte no e ma ofi e biem wo so ho e free e notie mu na sorry na tena se Zion na Jerusalem ba o se sane san wo ho e free ne dia chichire wo kon nyina wa wa chichire wo an opae ko so na kan san san mi o nyankopon e kasa chire wo se any day wo so ho sorry fa ho ntuma pefra dware en trans mo boni fo no mfa ne how em em fa won to form e san se israel nyankopon wa pega wo Shalom. May this be your portion this morning. Amen.